beating. So I am going to be going over the eight months, more like a year now, with that Cavitation 40K device for fat loss, target fat loss treatment. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Subscribe if you want more uh, body enhancement content. That is not traditional, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, Patreon, if you're interested in supporting me and learning more about my processes there. And then, leviathansups.com for pre-ordering my scientifically dosed uh, supplements. So let's get into it. Let's start at the beginning. I'm assuming many of you are familiar with cool sculpting. Um, this is known as cryolipolysis scientifically. And that's basically you kill the fat cells on your body using sheer cold that causes them to freeze on the inside, the water content on the inside that is. They rupture and then since your body cannot reproduce fat cells, they go away forever essentially. That does not mean you won't get fat again, however your fat distribution will change. Now, this is a simple process with Cool sculpting, it's the exact similar idea with the cavitation device, except we use sound waves to excite the molecules to cause the fat cells to rupture instead of freezing them. So it is marginally safer uh, and much cheaper. It requires less energy to cool it down since you are just, ex basically it's a big subwoofer <laughs> that you are sending or rubbing your body with. I guess it's not a subwoofer since it's ultrasound, but you get the idea. Since this water in your body is excited, it ruptures the fat cells, the fat cells are then processed as if it was junk in the rest of your body. That's the main idea with cavitation therapy. And since it is more cost effective, for one, this machine cost me about $300 and this is one of the more premium models that I found. Typical cool sculpting session would cost anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000, depending on where you live. Same with a typical cavitation therapy uh, session at a your local health spa, if you can call it health. But I digress. The reason why I like this so much is because it's hard to mess up, as if you follow some basic guidelines, and that's why I think it's safe for home use. Before you use this device, you should not be severely overweight. So. Your BMI should not be over 30, for example, if you are not a bodybuilder that is competing. Um, you want to be probably within 30% of your target fat range, and that's just because of the efficacy of the device. If you already have a lot of fat, you're not actually killing those fat cells, you're just rupturing big ones. So sure, you would lose fat, but it won't be as quick as if you were leaner than, say, 20% body fat. For men. Most practices, and probably best practice, is you treat an area one at a time once every two weeks. So this gives your body time to heal from any damage that this could have potentially caused because you are exciting the water in your body. Water excitement does not discriminate. So if you're too close to, say, a muscle, you can cause micro damage there. And your lymphatic system needs time to process this fat and the dead cells along with it. And while you're in this downtime, you can treat other areas. However, it can impact results, meaning you're gonna need more sessions over time. Uh, it is target fat loss. So if you have a big gut, it's gonna take time if, unless you divide it into smaller, say subsections, and then you work on it going up your abdomen. That would probably be most optimal, but again, it will take a sizable amount of time to re-sculpt that tissue. You guys are not re-sculpting, you're burning that, the fat cells that you already have. Anyway. Also, as I said, you shouldn't be overly fat when you do this. You should not be overly lean. You need at least a centimeter of adipose tissue, fat cells, for the cavitation device to safely insulate your muscles from it. So, if you can see your abs, you should not be doing cavitation device on your stomach. Um, most of you will not be able to do it on your arms because I'm assuming most of you guys are not having chicken wings. I mean, if you are, this can help, but I would assume diet and exercise would be a much more efficient way to lose it. 
and I do not recommend going above your nipple line. And that is because your heart's right here. It is mostly chest tissue, or pec, for me at least, above here, and then it keeps getting thinner and thinner, and then it becomes mostly bone. When this stuff hits bone, it is not fun, <laughs> okay? So, just here and down for safest practice. Again, you can try your arms, you can try your legs, but personally, it, I did not have the need to do it, so I can't tell you what's best practice for that. And sessions typically last anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Um, because it is ultrasound, you can literally hear your fat cells ringing, or the water in your fat cells ringing, so you'll have an unpleasant buzz the entire time. That being said, as soon as you take the handle off of you, the buzzing's gone. You can probably hear it a little bit because you're holding it still, but it's not going to be like the 60 decibels right in your... <sighs> Maybe I should film me using it real quick just to give you an idea, all right? Okay, but first, the how it excites water is the cool part, so let me turn it on. Full blast. All right, got some water. I don't know how well you can see it, but you can probably hear it. Oh, you can see it pretty well right there. That's what's going on in your fat cells. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the gist. Yeah, send the sound waves in, excites the water, that eventually causes those fat cells to rupture. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with my lapel mic on. Should have thought about it beforehand. Eh. So, first thing you're gonna need is, uh, this is ultrasound gel. I put just a bit on the handle, so you can hear it, just a bit of ringing. And then your target area, for me, is gonna be right here. And literally, you just rub back and forth slowly for the course of 15 minutes over your target area. It gets real boring and real tedious. Your arms will get tired. But, I mean, it's mindless. You can do it sitting in front of the TV. So, and eventually you will have to uh, re-lather. You know, that's not a big deal. Um, it can irritate the skin if you go too slow. Just so keep that in mind. And if you are a hairy guy, um, I usually am, but I shave my stomach just for this. You want to keep it trimmed. And then you can keep going up and down. You can come up to your up to here, and you can go as low as here, and it depends on how much fat you have on your legs. But it's really simple, and that's what I like about it. You can overdo it. But as long as you don't do more than like 20 minutes a day, you can sit down, huh? Um, as long as you don't do more than 20 minutes a day, you'll be safe. Uh, wiping my stomach right now. And I can't stress this enough, it works much better in a deficit because you're basically telling what fat your body should be burning. But it, you still will lose weight in your areas that are more genetically prone to lose that weight first. So just keep that in mind. My results, I did this on my mons pubis, aka the fat pad that is above my genitals. Um, it's pretty common knowledge, the less fat you have down there, the bigger you look down there. So my mons pubis measured about one and one sixteenth of an inch in depth. So I treated this with Cavitation, I believe five to six times over a six to eight week period. Again, I did this in December into January, so my numbers are a bit fuzzy. But in that time, my fat pad went from one and one sixteenth of an inch down to five eighths of an inch. And during this time, I was lean bulking, but really it was a dirty bulk. Um, so I was putting on fat elsewhere, but still losing fat right there so right then and there i knew this shit was legit but as i had more experience with this device i learned about some of the drawbacks that come so i also treated my abdomen this is where it gets kind of interesting for one 
It was about 39 inches around at the time. Yes, I was getting up there. Um, after eight weeks, it came down to about 37 inches. I was still in this slight surplus. So this fat wasn't being burned or it was just being redistributed elsewhere. So when I looked at pics later on, so I could tell that my chest, like my upper chest and upper back got a lot fatter. At the time I thought it was muscle because you know, an egotistical ass that I am. And basically I had this huge upper chest because it was all fat. And then my upper back was bigger. So when I was in t-shirts, I looked fucking ridiculous. But when I took my shirt off, it was a different story. When I eventually did cut, because I was still, still 225 and easily winded, sadly, um, I did do it again on my midsection, but my fat loss there was actually much slower. Um, it went down from 37 to about 36 in my first cut. I'd cut six weeks and then take a break, six weeks, take a break, and then continue on like that. It'll just find it easier mentally. Anyway, my fat around my midsection, I did lose it. However, I lost fat on my chest and upper back much faster because your body's still going to try to do its natural fat distribution loss sequence. I don't even know if that's a scientific term. But if you lose your fat first in your chest, you're gonna lose it there first, even with cavitation, it seems. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure why. I still did decrease the target area, but the place where I didn't really wanna lose it, because my wife likes big man titties, um, <laughs> went away before my stomach did. So it made it appear as if I lost muscle in my own head. And when I, I deal with body dysmorphia a bit, when I saw that, it really spooked me, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it really can change your fat distribution, but it's not like the magic thing to cause your entire body to change how it functions, right? It just mask bad genetics to start. And then finally, once I lost the bit of fat that was on my chest and on my upper back and thighs, I guess, I then finally started to see dramatic improvements in my waist. Uh, I did another six week cut. Uh, I don't know, probably August at this point. I don't even know. It's just mindless anymore when I'm just cutting, maintaining, cutting, maintaining. Anyway, um, <laughs> my waist went from 36 to 35 with sporadic use of this device just because that's when I got super busy in September, October with my newfound business and stuff like that. So I did not have time to devote to this. <laughs> but again, very useful device. Um, and scientifically sound, I will try to link those research papers down below. Um, another thing I noticed is that if you carry water weight exceptionally well, like me, you will see dramatic results from it in the first day. So, like, I remember recording something in April where my waist was about um, 37, 38 of it inches around. Um, I did the machine on my love handles front and back for 45 minutes total. The next day you could literally see the pouch that I had shrink. It was like literally like shrink wrap. However, a week later, once my water came back, it looked back to its original shape. However, it was not nearly as pronounced. That's how it works. You lose fat cells, you can't store as much water there or fat. So it does help trim you out. I do plan on using it again because I'm, I look decent in my opinion, I can look better. And now that I'm actually close to where I want to be body fat wise, I can probably get much faster results with this machine. Um, just poking it now, I have about a fingernails, less than a fingernails width of fat there. So it should be dramatic. My main area is this pouch right here. It's always been there, it runs in my family. <laughs> so. If I can destroy that, that's definitive proof that this thing works. Um, one of my concerns though of me chronically using this is that I'm actually gonna build a resistance to it and it won't work in the future. It is unlikely because, you know, excuse me, uh, 
there's no natural selection of fat cells that can be killed. They don't reproduce. So that's doubtful, but your body does have some pretty astounding resilience mechanisms. So we'll see in the future. I doubt it, but we'll go from there. And I really enjoy this thing. It can cause issues if you're not careful though. So treat it with respect and you won't have issues, okay? Uh, getting a little rambly at this point. I hope you learned something. Patreon, like, subscribe for other men's health improvement products. This is a little bit out of my normal wheelhouse if you've followed me long enough, so. Um, and then, might have said Patreon, if not Patreon. Uh, LeviathanSubs.com, this is BD signing off.